Today, we are going to talk about six truckload accessorial charges that every freight broker needs to know about. But we're going to start with what is an, what are accessorial charges? What is an accessorial, right? So I wanted to make sure that this was very clear. So I jotted this down. Accessorial charges are fees above and beyond the per mile and fuel rate that are added to your fuel, to your freight charge for additional services that the carrier may provide. So these are charges outside of your, your line haul plus fuel, your normal freight charge for services that a carrier may have to provide during transit, right? Uh, some point before they're dispatched all the way through to delivery, okay? So these are additional charges beyond the normal freight charge that they would get. So we're gonna talk about six of those today. And now I'm not gonna go in any specific order, but I am gonna go over the six that are the most common. I'm gonna give you a quick description of what that is. And then I'm gonna tell you kind of what those charges typically are today, right? And you're gonna see a bit of a range here. So number one on the list, I got a list here. Number one on the list is called a reconsignment. Now, a reconsignment is when a shipment destination is changed after the freight has been picked up by the carrier. So the freight, the carrier gets dispatched into the pickup location, <clears throat> they load the truck, and then the driver goes on his way. And during transit, they change the delivery location and they reconsign it to a new location. Now, that reconsignment charge <clears throat> is typically somewhere between 50 and $100 plus any out of route miles. So if there's added miles to the load because they're reconsigning it to a different location, that charge is going to change. That per mile, your overall rate is gonna change. Not only are you gonna get a reconsignment fee of 50 to $100, but you're also gonna pay any out of route miles, okay? So that's a reconsignment. You will run into that from time to time. Uh, for whatever reason, um, you know, they want to reroute the shipment to another location and that's called reconsignment. All right. <clears throat> Number two is a layover, a driver layover. A driver layover will apply if a truck is unable to get loaded or unloaded. Typically it's the unload side. So let's say for example, you get a truck loaded, they go to the destination, they're in line to get unloaded and for whatever reason, they can't unload the truck that day. Maybe there's a piece of equipment that they need in order to unload the truck. Maybe they don't have enough people. Maybe it's just too late, whatever the case may be, but the driver is unable to get unloaded at the destination on the agreed upon day and time. And so what happens is sometimes they will, you will request a driver layover. And that means the driver will have to stay over till the next day to get that freight off his truck, right? And so those range, those charges typically range for a driver layover. There's a pretty big range there, anywhere between 200 and up to $500 per day for a driver layover, okay? So that can get kind of expensive. It doesn't happen all the time, but it does happen from time to time. And it's something important that you definitely wanna understand what a driver layover is. So if a driver's unable to get his freight off the truck on the agreed upon day and time, and he has to, and he won't be able to unload it till the next day. It's called a driver layover. And that typically is going to cost you somewhere between $200 and $500. You're able to negotiate that with the carrier. All right. So that's number two. <clears throat> number three is what's called a lumper. Now a lumper is when the carrier, typically the driver, the carrier has to hire a service to unload the truck, right? So they get to a destination, maybe it's a grocery warehouse, which have, was where it happens quite frequently. You'll get to that destination and they need somebody to unload the truck or to sort and segregate the truck, change the pallets, move product from one type of pallet to another. But ultimately they need to lump, they call it a lumper because they need to lump that freight out of the truck onto the dock, okay? So those lumper services, that can range that can vary considerably, right? So the, the charges for that can vary depending upon the complexity of what they have to do and how much freight it is. Anywhere between $7,500 or $75, I've seen as high as $500, okay? So that's the lumper fee. So that's when the driver carrier delivers the product and they need to then hire somebody at the dock, 
there's typically lumper services there are unload services. They're usually independent services that actually provide that service and they'll have to pay them anywhere between $75 and $500. Okay. So those, that's an example of another accessorial charge outside of the uh, normal freight charges. Okay. So that's number three. Number four is truck ordered, not used. So what we mean by that truck ordered, not used happens in brokerage. Uh, and usually what happens is that's where a broker hires a carrier, signs a rate confirmation, gets a rate confirmation back from the carrier. And then what happens is after, you know, at some point they then cancel that truck before the truck is loaded. Now there's usually some sort of a, a timeline in there. It's either the same day or within a certain amount of hours or before the truck is dispatched. But ultimately, um, they order a truck and then they cancel that order with the carriers. That's called a truck ordered, not used. Okay. And so what that is, is that's a fee that typically ranges somewhere between 150 and $250. And again, it's based upon some sort of a deadline that you have determined either in your agreement or in your accessorial surcharge sheet, where if you do order a truck, if you do agree to pay a truck, pay a carrier for a load, and then you cancel that last minute, some timeline, usually it's the same day. If it's the day before, it's usually not an issue, but if it's the same day or definitely after you've dispatched the truck into the pickup location, you're definitely going to have to pay some compensate that driver and carrier with some sort of a truck ordered, not used. Those fees typically range somewhere between 150 and $250 for the truck ordered, not used. Okay. So that's number four. Number five is what's called a stop charge. Now a stop charge is exactly that each additional stop that you make on a run, all right, on a, on a, on a load usually has an ancillary charge. So if it's a one pick, one drop, there's not going to be any additional charges, but if it's a one pick and they've got three job drops, each each time they have to stop at a different location, there's going to be an additional stop charge. Most of those stop charges range anywhere between 50 and $75. They might go up to a hundred if there's a lot of stops, because again, a multi-stop load is going to cost the driver time, right? Because they're stopping at two or three or four different destinations. It might make that load take an extra day or two. So there will be stop fees. If you have more than one pick or more than one drop on a load, don't be surprised if there is some sort of a stop charge and these usually range somewhere between 50 and $75 for a stop fee. Okay. That's number five. And the one that you're going to run into most often in transportation as a whole is detention. This is number six, right? So number six is the one that you run in most often. It's called detention, right? And so detention is a fee that's charged by the carrier, right? When a driver has to sit too long to get loaded and unloaded. Now, in most cases, most drivers give you two hours for free on the load and unload side. Now that's combined. So that means on the load side, you get an hour and on the unload side, you get an hour. So you get two hours for free. That's usually the, the baseline for most carriers beyond those two hours. They're going to charge you an hourly rate. And that hourly rate ranges somewhere between 25 and a hundred dollars per hour. And is typically negotiated each carrier, you know, either you establish an accessorial charge up front, maybe in your transportation, uh, your broker carrier agreement, or it's something that's agreed up front so that everybody understands because detention does happen. Just so you understand detention happens all the times, you know, a lot of times they'll get loaded a little bit late. Sometimes they'll, they'll get, uh, del you know, they'll deliver on time and they'll get unloaded and it'll just take a long time for the driver to get unloaded. And you got to understand something. What happens is if that driver's wheels are not moving, He's not making money. So the detention charge is designed to help offset his time of not being able to, to move his truck into another load, into another destination because he's unable to make money. So it's a, it's a very fair charge. Now, the thing about these accessorial charges that I want you to understand, number one, those are all six. One was a reconsignment. Number two is a layover, a driver layover. Number three is a lumper. Number four was a truck order not used. Number five was a stop charge and number six is detention, right? 
is detention charges. Now there are many more there are many more types of accessorials depending upon what mode of transportation, whether you're using rail or you're using air or you're using ocean or you're doing LTL. But ultimately, these are the ones that you're going to run into most often if you're moving full truckload, which is what most brokers do, okay? But what I want you to understand in a key part here, okay, is that accessorial charges are not designed to be a profit center for brokers. So you're not necessarily going to mark those charges up where if for example um you know you uh are charged fifty dollars an hour by a carrier for detention you're not necessarily going to mark that up and charge your shipper 75 or 100 dollars. it's typically most accessorials are a straight pass through from the carrier whatever you pay the carrier directly through to the shipper so if you get a 50 dollars detention charge for one hour that carrier, that shipper, of course, is going to have to pay that $50 detention charge for one hour. Okay. The same thing with truck order not used and all of those different accessorial charges. Okay. So I think that's important to note. It should not be a profit center for brokers. It should simply be a pass through directly to the shipper. Now, when you're dealing with accessorial charges with shippers, it's important that you establish the accessorial charge and, and charges up front. So it'd be nice to send them a one pager that defines your accessorial charges. And then if they initial it or they agree to it via email, at that point, um, then you're gonna have to notify the shipper when those issues happen. Typically an example that happens very common is detention. You know, your, uh, uh, your driver is gonna let you know as the broker that they've now went into detention, they're past the two hours. You're gonna have to let the, the shipper know so that they can make sure they authorize it so you can ensure you get paid on that. And then at that point, they're gonna to wanna to know how much detention was there, give them an update, add it to the bill, add it to the freight charge, and then make sure the carrier gets paid and the shipper will make sure they pay you. And the same thing goes for all of the different accessorial charges. So I hope that helped. Well, listen, that was the six truckload accessorial charges that every freight broker needs to know. It's important that you understand the fundamentals there because it can make or break you. Just understanding this literally could probably save you a thousand bucks over the next over the first year of your brokerage, whether you're a freight broker or a freight agent. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. But ultimately, if you guys are curious about becoming a freight broker or freight agent, check out freightbrokerbootcamp.com. We offer several packages where you can get enrolled and get instant access to the entire course online. We offer a 60-day 100% money-back guarantee, and we're widely regarded as the number one most comprehensive and, and cost-effective online freight broker training program available today. So I hope you guys enjoyed that.